We are checking now Hinter. This is a fairly recent game on itch.io, but it seems very interesting because it's supposed to be inspired by a series of killings that happened in 1922. So it's inspired by real, a real story. Anyway, let me just read this. Hinter, Hinter Kaifek is a Bavarian farmstead located 70 kilometers north of Munich, Germany. The Gruber family used to live their average day-to-day -day life there. Feeding cattle, visiting their neighbors, enjoying a normal life. Until one day, a dark cloud of luck came onto them. You would play in the first-person perspective as the head of the family, Andreas Gruber. Your family is currently away visiting relatives. Experience the events with some enhanced elements to the story. So that's all the information I know from this. I need to put the logs on the sled now. Ooh, I don't like the environment. If there is something that I find extremely, extremely terrifying is being outside in a forest while it's snowing. Because you will freeze to death for sure. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, here's a sled. Alright. Where's the logs though? Oh, these logs. I'm an idiot. I couldn't find them. I don't know how. They were literally in front of me. Alright, so I need to put them over here. One by one. That seems very tedious. And this seems very dangerous, by the way. Why would you be doing this? <laughs> what the? My mind must be playing tricks on me. I'm kidding. Do you not take your meds today? Or are you off your meds? You know, that's, that's the thing that someone could argue. What if it's all a, a delusion? Psst. Whoa. Oh! Oh! What? That was definitely not something imaginary. I was so not expecting that, dude. I thought it was my head making the noises. But no. It was an actual person. Was I kidnapped? I'm being dragged, aren't I? Like I said, I haven't even watched the story of this. Or heard the podcast. Blind playthrough. Darn it. Another nightmare. That's three days in a row. Oh. Okay, well. Looks like it didn't happen at all. Can't sleep now. Great. I am used to it. All the horror games started this way. And lovely house, for sure. Really like it. Looks very cozy. I always like cabins. It's just too dark. That's my only... Um, complain about the house. Other than that, everything looks great. Oh. What is this? Mr. Andres Gruber. I've been thinking about it for quite a while now, and the bottom line is that I've made up my mind on who I would like to marry. Please answer immediately, as this will be a priority for you from now on. I wasn't going to tell you this, but I was writing too excitedly. It's your widow daughter, Victoria. If you forgot how to get to my house, follow the power lines. Kind regards, Lauren. More mail? Mr. Andreas Gruber, I write you this letter to inform you of my resignation as your family's housemate. This should not come as a surprise, as I have said multiple times before, your house is not normal. I am unsure of what it is, but I constantly hear strange sounds coming from the attic. I speculate they are footsteps or voices of living things. Human or not, I always feel a presence around me and I simply could not take it anymore. I hope this message resonates with you and you reach out to the authorities, as I recommended earlier, to understand what is happening safely. This is a very urgent matter. Kind regards. Mm. So I'm not crazy. Other people are hearing this stuff happening in my house. So it is probably happening. That looks really lovely, by the way. I like that. You know, I, I really like snow environments. 
but I like to watch them from the safety of my house. I don't really like being outside, in the snow, in a forest, but it's really, really pretty. I like that. A cabin out in the woods, that's all I need. Although maybe now after playing this game I won't be able to go camping because <laughs> now I'll have this in my mind. Alright, I'm going to follow the power lines to his house. Do I need to do that? Hmm. Bavaria. The art style of the game kind of reminds me to remother. Kind of like that VHS tape kind of look I like it okay I need to follow the power lines I need to go this way this is fairly simple nothing bad will happen right I'm sure as long as I don't hear sounds or see people everything will be fine how far is this place should have gotten the sled Maybe the sled would have helped me get faster. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay, it's a homeless person. Can I talk to you? Hey, what are you doing around these parts of my forest, bud? Just visiting the neighbors. Was it to you? Nothing. Visiting the neighbors. Neighbors? I've never seen any houses around here. That's all. My house is just around the corner from here. Yes, my neighbor Lawrence is just a few minutes on your right. Lawrence, huh? Lawrence... Ah, yes. I knew I heard that name somewhere. Are you talking about Lawrence? That's a cool last name. So yeah, this is also like a pick-your-own-adventure kind of game. So supposedly all the choices that I make in this game may affect the ending. So, there you go. It's got replayability. <laughs> You've heard of Lawrence or... Absolutely not. That's not him. Let's go with this one. Protect him. Oh well. What's your name? Andreas Gruber. You can call me Andreas. I don't feel safe telling you my name. Should I tell him my name? I don't really know you, but sure. Alright then, Andreas. Nice to meet you. I'm Stefan. Anyways, I have this brown little scrap box I've been meaning to get rid of. I mean, to give to someone. Here, you can have it. Thanks, that will come in handy. Thanks for nothing. What is that? Oh, it's a camera. They had cameras in 1922. That's very strange. I didn't know they had cameras in 1922. I mean, they, it did say that it was enhanced to make the game better, but really? I don't think cameras existed back then. Anyway, so how do I use it? Ah, there we go. Nice. Makes me feel like I'm playing out last. Take some pictures of the nice environment over here. I should have taken a picture of him, see how he reacts. Oh, there's the house. Well, I can zoom in. There we go, now I got proof that the house actually exists, and I'm not crazy. Lawrence house. How do I get rid of the camera? Come on. There we go, it's E. Okay, Lawrence. Lawrence. Might have to sleep here tonight. Why? Trail is not that far away. Anyone home? Lawrence? Hmm. No one censoring. Maybe through the window? What is that? Uh, never mind. Better not touch that. I don't want to get electrocuted. Cool chair. Never mind. Nobody's home. I should head back. Whoa! Ah, screw! Come on! <laughs> Stop doing that! Hey, didn't mean to scare you there. No worries, Lawrence. You just came out of nowhere. 
You sure gave me a heart attack. Don't lurk around people like that, kid. Watch yourself. I don't like people that play sick jokes like that. <sighs> you sure gave me a heart attack. Don't look around people like that, kid. That sounds like a very mean kind of response that I would have towards someone. I, I'm just gonna say this. You, you weren't trying to attack me or anything. I'll try not to do it again. Thanks. Please, come inside. Mm. So I'm guessing we're friends with this guy. Isn't this the same guy who hit us at the beginning of the game? Thank you for coming out here. It's no problem. So about your marriage proposal to my daughter? I'm just curious. Do you sit here and stare at the wall like this regularly? Yes, I am very excited. I promise you I have nothing but good intentions towards your daughter. What do you do in your spare time? I hate to bring this up, but are you sure about this considering your previous wife's death? Oh. Uh, let's not go with that. Let's go with this. Well, I do some gambling downtown sometimes. I do have some debts. Would you be gambling if you're married to my daughter? No way, I would never if I had a family. Okay, well that's good. Lawrence's previous wife has been dead for years. Hmm. You know what, maybe I should have asked about his wife. I see my wife often, you know. Excuse me, Lawrence, your wife died years ago. What do you mean you see her? She's not dead. I see her and make her food every day. Can you show me? No, no. I can't let anyone in. She said nobody can be let in. I should go to my room upstairs. What? With this freaking psychopath in the house? Really? Is there not a better option? Can I leave? Can't leave the house now. Great. Okay, so I gotta go upstairs. Where's the upstairs exactly? Is it here? Lawrence, don't do anything crazy while I'm gone. I'll just go and inspect whatever it is that you're saying. You might just... You might just have some sort of like trauma. It's getting late, I should get some rest. Before I go to sleep, let me go check on the room that I shouldn't go in. Oh, I can. Right. Is there anything else I can do? Is he still here? Yeah, he is. Hello? No? Okay. I guess I'll just go to sleep. That's what the game wants me to do. I need to turn off the light first. I'm not so sure about that. I'm in someone's house. Okay, fine. Go to sleep. I really don't know what I'm doing. That's probably the only issue you have when you're playing games in a blind... as a blind playthrough. 3.43 a.m., okay. Press space to get up. Uh, why exactly do I want to get up at 3 in the morning? What are those sounds? Turn the lights, please. Thanks. Can go outside. Lawrence is digging a grave for that body. Ooh. Should I take a picture for evidence? Or leave in mind my own business? Definitely take a picture, dude. We have the camera for a reason, right? Take a picture of Lawrence next to the body. Okay. That will do. Let me zoom in, actually. We gotta see his whole face. There we go. Okay, so we saw him kill someone. He's the killer. He probably killed his wife. Yeah. I knew it was a- Oh! Ah, shoot. Great, he's gone. Great. 
Gotta love horror games. Gosh, I can't see anything. There we go. Okay, alright, I'm out. I knew this I knew this wasn't a great idea. I knew it. I knew it. You know what, I'm just gonna record the whole thing. I will No, I can't record. That thing is not possible. It's the nineteen twenties. That technology hasn't been invented yet. I can only take pictures most likely. Okay. Let's just head back home, pretend that nothing happened. Maybe give this to the authorities and um, and have a happy life, hopefully. Oh uh oh, you are being watched. Find the stalker and take a picture of them for evidence. It should scare them off. What? Whoa, whoa, what? What is going on? What is that? He's gonna be stalking us throughout the whole game. Oh, this makes it even way creepier. Nighttime, snowing, and a freaking psychopath following you. This is not good. Not good at all. Okay, I'm almost there. I'm almost at the guy's house. Hey, dude. Come help me. What was your name? I forgot. Oh, shoot. Stop it. I got you. I got you. Go away. Thank you. Okay, well, I'm not too far away from my house. That's a relief. Let's keep walking. Think about nice thoughts. I don't see him. That makes it extra dangerous. Keep going. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Took a picture of him. Yes. Nice. Keep going. This is some strange mechanic, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Am I almost there? I think I'm almost there, yep. I can definitely see the first powered line. We're home. Yes. Well, oh, finally. Safety. I should get the fireplace started. Why? Why? Hmm. Where's the f fireplace at? Oh, I got something. To grab something to eat to help clear my mind. Really, that's what you think is the best thing to do right now? You don't think calling the authorities or something or going to a police station is a better option? Why do we take the picture then? Weren't we supposed to use that as evidence? Can I leave? There's no reason for me to leave the house yet. Hmm. No one there. Okay. At least it seems like he's not following us. So that's good. Okay, if you want to die, be my guest. What do you want to eat? Is there a light switch? There is a light switch here. Oh. Nice. Now it doesn't look that scary. Okay, let's not go into our room yet. Oh, it's the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> not too bad. Grab a wine bottle, maybe? No? Hmm. Given the fact that there's light switches on the walls, there's gonna be one over here for the kitchen, right? Oh! What did I just grab? Oh, I grabbed a plate. Am I playing this game wrong? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat then. Clear of my mind. Which is, once again, I don't think it's a great idea. We should go straight to the police, show them the evidence that our friend is a killer. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh oh. Oh no. Oh. just your mind it's just your mind <laughs> keep eating makes me feel like I'm playing 
Fears to Phantom again. Space to get up. Stop the radio. Where is that sound coming from? It's not from here. that noise can't seem to be able to turn on the lights oh something over here shut up where is it my family is finally coming back sometime tomorrow that's a very odd looking dog Uh oh. What? Paintings, okay, cool. Okay, let's get back to our safety spot. Safe spot, which is this. <laughs> uh oh no. Okay, <laughs> it's a psychological horror game. I got it. I get it. It's not the first time I play one of these. <laughs> But who is crying? Where is that coming from? <laughs> Hello? I can hear it too close, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's oh. It's definitely over here, but it's not here, it's upstairs. Are you crying? My family's coming back sometime tomorrow, okay. I don't see... Oh, okay, there is an upstairs. Oof. Grab the candle, please. That's great. Thank you. Oh, no. Who's crying over here? What? There's an actual person in here. <coughs> what the? <laughs> I need to screw in another light bulb there are spare light bulbs in the shack outside uh, come on at least I got a candle now I can see better nope I don't understand this game I don't understand what the goal is shack outside okay You weren't there, were you? Hmm. Okay, where is the shack? Why would you lock the door, you idiot? You're seriously stupid. You only lock the door when you're inside the house, not when you're outside. Is this a shack? Could be. There's no reason to go in there. It's just not. That's just this one. Can I come in? Oh. Okay. Oh no. What is that? An axe? Oh, it's a pickaxe. I thought it was an axe. Let's grab a lot of them because we're not sure how many we're gonna need. Hopefully no killers come my way. <laughs> oh man, I, I thought you locked the door. Okay, now it's a good time to lock the door if you want to do that. Okay. So far, I still don't get what's going on. Or why I'm supposed to be doing this. Where is it? Where am I supposed to put this? Over here? Bulb screwing. Hold down and 
OK. Then move your mouse left and right when screwing in a light bulb. You will see your progress bar at the bottom. You need to reach the green bar, but you will face resistance as you get closer. Reaching the red section will reset your progress. OK. So... I need to get closer. How close do you want me to be? Oh, maybe I can step on this. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so press this and screw the light bulb. Oh. What's going on? Whoa. Cause of death and asphyxiation. Yeah, let's try this again. Oh. Oh, okay, I see him. I see him now. Oh. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my god, you don't want to know how long that took me. I need to go screw up some... That sound is so terrible. <laughs> screw in some light bulbs outside in the barn. Okay. If you say so. What barn? Is it this one? Maybe that's why it said that I wasn't allowed to get in here yet. Hello? Hey, there's a cow. More cows. Cool. Oh, there's the light bulb. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This is like such a simple task. Can I close the door maybe? Close it. Yes, that's right. You know what? I'm just gonna step on the cow. <laughs> I know that we're not supposed to do that, most likely, but... Okay, 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 there he is. We just gotta keep it on the green spot, it seems. May take a while. May have to hustle. Oh, that's enough for today. I should go to sleep now. Hey, looks like I did it. It's it's great when games actually act the way they're supposed to, and they don't break down on you. Jesus, this is getting very tedious. Oh, I should go to sleep. He said, so I should go into my room. Well, oh, this is not my room. That's the bathroom. Here it is. I swear to God, if I just die like, while I'm sleeping or something, I'm just gonna be so disappointed. I still have my camera with me, right? Yeah. Ten AM. Looks like I survived through the night. Put space to get up. What? I should check my property for damages because of yesterday. Right. Press E to take a picture of evidence. Okay, so the first place where I where I saw weird things happen was here, right? Nothing seems to be broken though. What am I supposed to take pictures of? I definitely closed that door and the magic is missing. What? 
Oh, okay, I see. Well, here's the thing. The magic is missing, but I did, didn't close the door. Is that it? No. Oh. That will do. Hmm. Okay. Is there anything else broken? No, nothing seems to be broken over here. Wonder if it's still around though. Probably not. It's daytime. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, no. What is that? What is that? There you are. You're lucky I can't take a picture of you right now. <laughs> what? I died? Are you kidding me? Run, 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 run. Come on. Yes! Did I do it? Yes, I made it. Oh, he's getting killed. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Stefan. I should probably take a picture of that. Right? What's it, Stefan? Stefan, 1861-1921. Okay. He died, okay. Uh, understandable. Is it me who's whistling? Can't sleep now. Okay, then what do you want me to do again? <laughs> Whoa! I should take everything that's rotten out of the fridge. Now put it outside by the door. Now to stack the bodies on top of each other in the barn. Excuse me, what? Police. Police, don't move. You are under arrest for the murder of the Gruber family. Or that's what I would have hoped would happen. Instead, he killed us all and got away with it. Living in our house like nothing happened for days while our bodies were in the barn decomposing. Photos taken, rudeness zero, pictures. The Hinterfeck family was murdered by an unknown assailant that lived inside their house for several days after murdering the family, as neighbors reported. The killer was never caught. The main suspect is Lawrence. A postman found the family murdered inside the barn after investigating a pungent smell coming from inside the barn. The family was stacked on top of each other and their baby was killed in his crib inside the house. The family's previous maid quit her job six months earlier due to hearing strange sounds from the attic and from the walls and claiming the house was haunted. Their new maid arrived on the day they were killed and so she died too. I did take some pictures, I just don't know why it's not showing me any. So, my review of this game. Um, I was gonna say that it was terrible. Because <laughs> I didn't understand the story completely. But, now I kind of understand the plot twist. I was living in this guy's house as the killer. And I killed everyone and I was living in the house. 
Still, there were some parts when I was playing the game and the game just broke down on me a bunch of times and I had to restart the game and as you can see over here there is no way to save your progress. You have to play it all over again and do the same things that you already did to complete the game. So that was a bit tedious. So I guess I would give this game a six and a half maybe a seven if it doesn't f break on me so yeah that was uh, that was hinter hope you enjoyed this and as always I'll see you in the next one see ya <laughs>